Bridging the digital divide, Boeing says this satellite will not only connect more of the world, but will also help in war zones and in natural disasters. They're being called the most advanced communication satellites out there, and they're being built right here in the Southland. KKLN's Jeff Nguyen has our first look. This factory floor in El Segundo is part of the latest effort by Boeing in global broadband connectivity. The first of a kind, a new generation of satellite technologies. We got a rare look at the facility to see the finishing touches being put on the first in a series of O3B M powered satellites. The aim closing the digital divide. When you travel, you know, there's a, a good part of the world that doesn't have the kinds of access to telemedicine to distance learning that you and I enjoy every day. To help connect the world, a constellation of 11 satellites will soon take orbit. This is a nearly completed satellite. Over here, you essentially have this semi-truck that's going to deliver the payload into space. Over here is where more than 5,000 beams are transmitted back and forth. The beams can be directed to war zones like Ukraine, where communication towers have been knocked out. Or in the aftermath of a natural disaster, satellite service provider SES says mobile antennas like these were able to help restore communications following Hurricane Ian. We just have this surge capacity, this ability to just stand it up very quickly for folks that are in need, in this case, due to a natural disaster. USC professor David Barnhart has no financial ties to Boeing. He says the satellite constellation will be in an equatorial orbit, which lowers the concern for what's known as space junk. I don't immediately translate the, the issue of these 11 satellites uh, as even close to the thousands of satellites that are being launched into low Earth orbit, which are traveling at very high rates of speed relative to each other. Normally, satellites, you design them to do one thing, and that's the thing they do for their entire life. These satellites can be changed with ground software. The first two satellites will launch next month. In El Segundo, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.